Martha, I do want to ask you, you know, we've talked about some important subjects here that affect women and families, certainly, but there are always other bills that either pass or don't pass that have implications for women here that may not necessarily look like it's a direct connection. So I'm curious of the bills you've been following, of the, of the ones that either passed or didn't pass that affect women, what we're also looking at as well this session. Well, the gun issue right. is definitely a women's issue. Over half of the intimate partner homicides in this country are committed with a gun. Ah. And most of the victims are female. Wow. So easy access to a gun. Somebody gets mad, has an argument with their spouse. Yeah. They run over the gun store. A waiting period is not unreasonable. Mm -hmm. as. We have talked about in the past, Gene, if you know you're going, you know when hunting season right. is, you That's know, right. you don't decide overnight, oh, I'm <laughs> going to go buy a gun right. and go hunting tomorrow. That's mm -hmm. ridiculous. Mm -hmm. uh, so this will affect women in the long run uh -huh. that we don't have a waiting period. Maybe two weeks was too long. Okay. I don't know that, but uh, some kind of waiting period, let's call it a cooling off period sure. for people that are inclined to commit mayhem with a gun. If you're a lawful citizen that wants to go hunting or target shooting, it seems to me you could wait a few days, right. you know, to get hold of that gun. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that did pass was Pamela Herndon's bill about kids' access to a gun. Yeah, that's a big uh, one. And I was very glad to see that. Mm -hmm. The penalties are interesting because if the kid doesn't do anything lethal with it, uh, it's a misdemeanor uh -huh. for the kid to have access to it. If the kid does, as one kid did in another state, actually shoot his teacher, he was a six-year-old, yep. uh, then it becomes a fourth-degree felony. I see. And so I think that's quite a divergent uh, punishment for it, but I was glad to see it. It's a good bill. Overall, the gun issue was, was uh, hotly debated, certainly, as we might expect, but we also have from legislatures past, red flag laws that we've got chiefs of police in certain places saying they're not going to enforce them. Where does this all sort of fit together in the gun issue? It, 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 meaning there's been a sweep over the past maybe two or three sessions of folks really trying hard in this gun thing. Are, are you feeling like there's some progress being made or are we still in the same place? Well, no, I think we're making progress. I think it's way too slow. Okay. And of course, my ideas about this are well known. Sure. But Gene, the influence of the National Rifle Association in this country is not going away. Right. It's getting stronger in many states. Mm -hmm. I don't know about New Mexico specifically, but as you say, some law enforcement mm -hmm. are on the wrong side of this issue, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And so I think we have to keep trying. Mm -hmm. But the question is, how many kids are gonna be killed? How many women are gonna be killed? Uh, who are the primary victims of domestic violence uh, before we actually do something. Mm -hmm. Interesting one from out of right field here. Maybe it's a women's issue, maybe not, but I'm always, you know me well enough, uh, my ideas about a full-time legislature versus the system we have now. Would some of the issues that you've been following for women's issues have a better chance of passing if we had a full-time legislative scheme where people could actually talk about these things for a long period of time? I'm wondering if the brevity of our sessions is actually hurting progress on women's issues here. I think it's hurting women's issues and other issues mm -hmm. because what we have now is sort of a yearly dance. Right. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Yes. Throw up the barriers, do something at the last minute that may not be the best interest of the constituents right. or the best bills. Mm -hmm. But you're going to do a compromise in a 12 hour period because the hammer's going to fall. That's, right. That's not good. Mm -hmm. We need, you know, the paid legislature idea is a good one. A lot of people can't, they might be very good public servants, mm -hmm. but they can't afford it. Mm -hmm. And this is something that I think needs to be revisited, but this hurry up and wait and do something at the last minute cannot be good in the long run, no matter which side you're on. That's right. We need more contemplative time. Yep, yep, I'm with that 100%. My last question, it, it, you know, again, it may seem like outside of women's issues, of all issues boil down to women's issues at some level. I mean, I think you've taught us that, that over time. But the idea that a, a full-time legislator might even f afford a difference in the relationship with the governor's office 
in how those people, I'm, I'm thinking about women running more in a full-time legislative scheme. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, you know, when you have time to really discuss things and really grind them, I, the women I know, that's appealing oh, yeah. to run for office, for that kind of office. I think it would be appealing. Mm -hmm. I think you have to have enough time to do that relationship with the governor and right. have her be receptive to it. Right. Uh, the governor is herself stressed a lot uh, during these sessions because she's got a lot on her plate. Mm -hmm. But I think if you had this, uh, you know, back to the mountain, to James Mountain issue, sure. there might have been more time for some dialogue That's right. there. That's right. And so one, th one thing I just want to touch on, Gene, that, that did happen, and uh, you may not have time to discuss this very much, but this business about uh, making Election Day a school holiday, please. That's definitely a women's issue. Yes. Who's gonna watch the kid? Yeah. Think of yourself as a single mother. You exactly. maybe you can't go vote that day because you gotta make arrangements for the kid. They're right. not gonna be in school. It doesn't make any sense. Interesting. It was all about the Saturday for the longest time. We wanted to have election day on a Saturday because of that very issue, but exactly. that's interesting. Uh, Martha Burke, political psychologist, author, and host of the podcast Real Time with Martha Burke. Thank you for coming down. We do this traditionally after every session, and I always enjoy them. Thank you for your insights. Thank you for having me here, Gene. Always. It's always a pleasure. We really like you here at New Mexico PBS. Thank you so much, Martha.